What's up everybody? Hey, as I said, I'm back right here in East Legon at Body Fuel Ghana, the number one spot uh, for sports and nutrition. I'm here with the resident expert on hand, going to get some questions answered about how to achieve your health and wellness and fitness goals. So thank you so much for being with me today. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, for welcome. the folks that don't know you, please tell us your name. Uh, my name is Kwame. Uh, I'm the manager here at Body Fuel. Okay, well Kwame, thank you so much for being with me. Um, I have a lot of people out there that have a lot of questions around health and wellness and I, I've, I've come to this store several times to buy some of my own yeah. uh, supplements. I particularly like the vegan ones, uh, but you have so many. So for the folks that have never heard of Body Fuel, give us a, uh, a rundown on what Body Fuel is and some of the products that it offers. Okay, Body Fuel is uh, now known as a supplement brand, but uh, we are a lifestyle brand. Body Fuel came into being because um, we, had, we were not so much into about selling supplements. We were about living a much more healthy lifestyle. So uh, it started with my uncle who regularly came to Ghana and would go to the gym with a supplement and exercise and see people who are not on amino acid. They are not taking any uh, recovery supplement that, uh, like proteins and uh, creatines and then decided like, why don't I put up something like this here? Mm -hmm. So when you come to body fuel, the focus is usually trying to find out if you can try and build a healthy lifestyle before we try to introduce you to our products. Okay, so the goal is really educating people about the lifestyle, not just I want something to get big or lose weight fast. Yes. So what do you see as one of the main um, challenges that prevents people from accomplishing a healthy lifestyle as it relates to maybe the supplements or whatever that they're taking? I would say one of the main challenges would be commitment. Commitment, okay, okay. Um, because um, the whole idea of, about you getting big or losing weight is dependent on a habit, right? You have to eat a certain way, you have to eat certain foods, you have to be able to live a certain way, which means, what do you do? Are you a businessman who has to work maybe 12 hours a day, mm -hmm. and you sit in traffic, have to sit in the office in long meetings all day? So, you have to devise a plan. How am I going to get fit? How am I going to eat? How am I going to stay active? Because the whole idea of you having a, a, a fitness lifestyle and being healthy is dependent on always an activity and, and then your diet. Mm. Everything else is secondary. Your body doesn't know about your goals. Your body only knows about the nutrition that it's getting and how you are living. So if you are somebody who sits all day without doing anything and you are eating heavy, heavy carbs, <laughs> high sugary foods, mm. definitely your body is going to get um, um, an output or a result that you, you wouldn't like, mm. you understand? Because your body as, as an agent has its own um, language or it has its own um, ecosystem mm. that it's working with. So what we are trying to do here at Body Fuel is we are trying very hard to try and get people to get the understanding of how to live a healthy lifestyle. So when you come to Body Fuel, for example, and tell us you want to gain weight, we have so many other products, in fact, every product here, especially with the proteins, yeah. are nutrients, contain nutrients that will help you gain weight. But your weight gain is not necessarily dependent on a particular protein powder. 
for instance, many people have seen products that has inscriptions on them as mass gainers or bulk yeah. muscle or massive or anabolic or whatever. These are the terms that are written on the product to help the producers of these brands market them, mm. right? But for you as an individual, how you're going to gain the weight is not necessarily based on just a supplement. It's based on you eating a certain way, living a certain way, and then considering the supplementation as just an addition or something that completes the nutrition. Mm. So when you come to Body Fuel and you tell me you want to buy a mass gainer, would have to try and determine how well you are already eating. Okay, so let's say for example, I come in and you see my size, right? I'm not a very big guy. I say, listen, by September of this year, I want to be very big. So where's my mass gainer? Oh. <laughs> but, but right now I don't work out. I work out maybe like two days in a week. Yes. I go for, a, I, I use, the, I, I use the, the machines and the metals. But by September, I want to put on, let's say 10 kg. <laughs> we usually tell people that, I mean, sometimes people come in and say, are you really serious about selling products? It seems you are sort of like discouraging us. But you see, the, these supplements is targeting somebody who is health conscious. Mm. You understand? They are not made just for anybody. I mean, why would you buy a, 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 a product that specifically is telling you it has this amount of protein, it has this amount of creatine, it has this amount of amino acid, and you just take it without, mm. I mean, consideration of anything. It has a target market. So when you come in like that, and we determine your habits, and then we determine your dietary habits as well, mm. we are able to give you, uh, what I say, the fundamental guide that you know what that is not possible for you to mm. you i mean sometimes we show them pictures of some of our ambassadors or other people and we say yes. you know what this person looks this way and the truth of the matter is that he's trained for nine years wow he's done this thing for nine years are you ready to do that i'm not saying you need nine years to look like him but i'm telling you that you have to get committed in order to get to where he's, he's getting to. Because when you come in and tell me you want to gain mass, for a lot of people, they don't understand that you can get fat without building muscle and look a certain way. Mm. Are you getting me? Yes, yes. So in the mindset of the client who is coming, he wants to look like an athlete. Mm -hmm. or somebody he's seen on Instagram who holds a, a particular protein yes. looking so well defined I mean every muscle group isolated <laughs> and they think okay he took a particular product and got there but they don't know that that body that they are looking at was developed through consistent patient exercising and dieting over a period that makes that body, part of the body just isolate itself because it builds it builds well mm. so when you come in although we have so many products here we, we may even with the mass gainers it comes in so many varieties yes, yeah. not all mass gainers are the same some mass gainers have very high carbohydrates sodium sugar sugar sugars in them mm. you understand and they may not necessarily be made for um, I would say a lazy fitness person, somebody who is really not putting in a lot of high intense, intense, uh, intensity workout and then working long hours at the gym. They, they don't really work out enough to burn out calories that may require this level of recovery. Okay. So when they take products like this and you don't exercise, you can still gain weight. So you but tell me you have people that come in mm -hmm. that will take a mass gainer, mm -hmm. but they won't exercise oh, and expect to look like I, I uh, have fitness. I think I've dealt with more than, if, if I'm not exaggerating, more than 200 people. In fact, I had a, I, one classic case we have here had to do with a group of girls, women, you know, who were interested in some of our mass gainers here. Um, the challenge for us is we want people to do the right thing, yes. but you don't get that from your clients because most people who are coming in have already been 
coached or informed by somebody out there okay. who is saying, okay. okay, I gained weight and this part of my body got bigger when I took that Get particular you, product. I got a big butt yes. from taking this yes. or something. And she, maybe she's 20, 22, 25 year old, mm -hmm. young woman who's already <laughs> developing <laughs> and they don't want to work out. And they come and take these high calorie proteins mm. on a high, and some of them contain, in our, in our own perspective, ingredients or nutrients in volumes that you don't need as, a, as somebody who doesn't mm, work I out. Get you, I get you. And they take them and get fat mm. and get disappointed. Mm. You understand? And the way we engage with a lot of our clients is such that we always get a lot of feedback from them. I mean, we follow back. I, I try to engage with some of them. I, you know, we are like friends. Mm -hmm. And so they tell you stuff. They tell you about their experience with the product because for us, that is what we really want with our clients. We don't just want people to come to Body Fuel, buy products, go out there and use them, and we don't know. We want to know what when, when you took the amino acid, what your experience was with amino acid was. Because if it's saying that it's a product that should give you muscle recovery after exercise, then depend on the level of your training or the intensity of your workout, when you started taking amino acid, you should be able to tell us how your recovery is, is taking place when you take the amino acid. You could tell the difference that okay. when I was off amino acid, I can train in maybe three days, I'm not getting any kind of recovery, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can also tell that, okay, when I started the, I'm taking amino acid, I'm, I'm recovering uh, uh, quickly, and I'm also seeing that my muscle is growing uh, much more better than when I was off amino acid. Those are the kinds of information we want. Or maybe somebody takes, um, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a pre-workout and okay. says, you know what, I, when I take that pre-workout, I can't, I can't sleep in the evening. You understand? And sometimes <laughs> we know, but when they come in, because they've been coached by somebody else, they just come and buy. Because you see, there are so many pre-workouts like these. Okay. Right. Now, like, now what we're looking at here is a is a pre -workout. It's a pre workout. So what is it exactly? What is a pre workout? A pre workout is a a, a a supplement that you take before you go and work out. Okay. But its main work for you is that it's supposed to help you get very active, energized, so that you can go for your workout. So this gives you energy. Uh, yes. So a pre workout essentially helps you to work out with more energy. With so you more don't energy. As tired, as tired. Okay. or maybe sometimes you know people are a bit sloppy yes. in the morning or you. late in the evening when they w they just need something to okay. kick them in, like yeah. you've taken a, co a, a coffee drink yes. or, an, or an energy drink. But the pre-workout ingredient is much better. So what, what about the other folks who um, we just had a conversation with uh, a restaurant in Ghana that's a vegan-owned uh, restaurant, no animal products in it. What about those folks who may want to take a protein supplement? Um, do you have any products for those individuals? The vegan? Yes, we do. Because personally, I'm also a greens person. Okay. I mean, I mean, we, if we're Accra is becoming a, a city that's changing. Accra is changing. You are getting a lot of uh, vegetarians, uh, restaurants springing up all yes. over. So we get that. And my uncle also eats a lot of greens. Okay. You understand? And because of that. I mean, we introduced our vegan brand, and for us, it's one of the the fastest uh, moving collection of products we have here. There are so many people in Ghana now who are very conscious of, you know, what they eat, and then some of them being vegetarians and also preferring organic stuff. We have them. So if somebody is a vegetarian or somebody who is into um, organic stuff, can also get products from us. You can get your organic proteins that comes in so many different uh, varieties. Not all the organic proteins mm -hmm. are necessarily made for sports people. Mm. The reason being, most people who are engaged in sports or fitness stuff may need some kind of amino acid, especially the, um, 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 the BCAAs, mm -hmm. which they, their bodies may not get them adequate amount and, and also their nutrition may not get them. So some of we have sports nutritional supplements here that has these in them that is very good for sports people. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And then but we are giving variety for everybody. I mean not every not everybody who buys from body fuel is necessarily into fitness workout, but 
some are very very conscious of their diet and they know exactly what they need or what they lack some somebody may be just taking l-glutamine l-arginine um some uh, mct powder coconut oil i mean there are so many variety of products that people just buy here mm. to, to to help them eat better so it sounds like the main folk one of the main focus of body food is education educating yes. the 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 clients so that they're not just buying things and thinking they're going to get some results like yeah. a, a a fitness a bodybuilder who's been training for 20 30 years yes. so it sounds like you really take the time to educate your 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 customers on the products that they're putting in their bodies and it sounds like you have something for everybody no matter if you are trying to gain weight or lose weight if you're a vegan if you're not yes, vegan yes, yes. um advice you would give for someone let's say they don't work out at all and they're just now starting their fitness journey they want to lose weight they just want to be a healthier person overall yeah how does that person start what i would say the most important thing i keep telling people is love who you are love who you are as a person because when you start working out the temptation to look out for i mean it's like you go for a body goal and it's somebody mm. out there yes which is not you mm. so yes you want to be healthy you want to lose weight no uh, come, when you come to body fuel we try and educate you on what you 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 basically need to do so somebody who really needs to lose weight must first consider his own body type you understand yeah, I mean, we ask people to go out there and have their BMIs checked and all of that. But the most important thing is that when you know that you are somebody who gains weight easily, that's why you are big and you just want to cut down and lose weight. And the goal is not to get to look like a fashion model. Mm. You understand? You're going to get there. If the goal is, I want to be healthy, I know this is going to take some time and I'm ready to put in the hours, I'm ready to learn whatever I need to learn about the food and about the supplements and about my diet. One thing that we try to do for people who want to lose weight or gain weight is not try to change their diet. Because we have other people that we consult, we have dietitians and nurses and other people, those who are willing to engage them, we refer them mm -hmm. to them. Because it's very, very overwhelming for yeah. somebody like for, for me i eat greens here yeah. and people say i don't like the taste but i'm very comfortable with mm -hmm. the taste because maybe i've eaten greens for a very long time mm -hmm. right it's it will be very overwhelming for somebody who is big to suddenly walk into <laughs> body four and then we give you a meal plan that <laughs> it, <laughs> constitutes meals that ideally you're going to stop in a week <laughs> which we know yes yeah. so the goal is that whatever you are eating now mm -hmm. will be looked at right and then we are just going to restructure it by maybe reducing what we know you don't need much of. Ba that is going to be based on whatever BMI uh, uh, test or whatever that you've done, right? So if you like fufu, you're still going to eat fufu. But my uncle is going to put you on a, 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 a fufu size that most Ghanaians <laughs> run away from. <laughs> are, are you getting me? Yeah, so portion I, I control. Guess. Yeah. It's one thing that when you bring into your, your eating habits, can do so much more than what somebody is saying is good uh, and bad. Because when you look at nutrition in general, you realize that not, not everything is bad or good in a sense. It's always about the quantity, the measure, and how much you need. How, how, when can you take that? Who can take that? There are stuff you can avoid, but there are stuff that you can avoid. Mm. The question is, the challenge for all of us is the, the portions that we can't control, the portions that we don't know how much we are getting off. Mm. So if you come and you want to lose weight, that is the most important thing. Then the supplementation will, then will come in that, okay, now that we've seen what you are eating and what you can eat, and we know that you can't get this amount of proteins. You can consider these vegan protein supplements, mm -hmm. and then you can use it for your smoothie every day. You know, it's just it's just the protein is just uh, uh, one 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 ingredient that you can yeah. take. Add it to whichever fruits that you want. You know, this is what you you can have access to. Do it and stay on it. You will get results. The amazing thing about us is that we've gotten so many people who have 
picked up the habit getting results in a very short time. In fact, in a very short time, because of their learning and their willingness to you know, open themselves up to stuff like that, are getting a lot better results than people who've trained for a long time who are not learning. You understand? Because <laughs> you have to open yourself up to know what is out there. You, understand? you may you may not be eating there are certain foods that is not even available in our country that have nutrient that is good that you don't know of mm -hmm. <laughs> but when you get the dietitian to begin to draw up the plan and, and then point you to the right places then you become more conscious of that i we believe you can eat anything you want but you have to eat them in good measure and you have to eat knowing exactly what you should be eating mm -hmm. you understand Avoiding pizza doesn't necessarily mean you'll be healthy and then eating, um, what do you call it, um, a chicken breast doesn't mean you are also going to build any muscle. <laughs> it's how those things play a role in your general eating habits and then also your general fitness or activity uh, habits. Yeah, that's what's important. So for those who want to lose weight, we encourage you to be very much content, uh, comfortable with who you are begin by knowing okay i want to look, lose weight for myself i want to lo look good for myself this is what i'm going to do this is what i'm going to mm -hmm. avoid because we see so many people who try things for two three months and then they stop <laughs> so many of them so many because the 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 goal becomes the the desire i think that you shouldn't make the goal the desire you should make the habit you should love the habits. It's for somebody who goes to the gym and wants to work out and build muscle. If it's about, oh, I want to gain weight. I want to build muscle. I want to do this. Trust me, you are going to leave the gym maybe in the next three months because you probably wouldn't see your, your flat stomach that quickly. Yeah. You understand? But when you begin to enjoy the fitness, enjoy the reps, enjoy your exercises, and every day becomes a, a challenge that you want to really complete, you realize that in six months, you're going to see much better results than when you are too focused on, on the end result. Because the, being focused on the end result is not going to be part of the process. The process is you eating well, the process is you exercising well, and then the process is also you resting well. Resting is something that is almost neglected, I think. A lot of people tell me they, can't, they don't have time to sleep. Yeah. In fact, yesterday somebody told me, he, he can't sleep, he has to make money. And I, I told him that, you know what, with all that we are doing now, if you don't have time to rest, it's, you can't build the muscle. You'll get the money and you'll die. Because your body yes. is... Yes, yeah. yes. And this, this, these, are, these are people who want to spend two, three hours in a gym okay. every day, and then they want to sleep less than five hours mm -hmm. the, at the end of the day also. And then expect to also go a build myself. Well, it, it sounds like, again, the most important thing is education, is learning the information because you have all the products available to assist the person who knows what they want to do and who's realistic about the goals they want to accomplish. And I'm sure that the information that you share today is going to help a lot of people watching this and even encouraging those people who are just getting back into the gym for the first time and even folks who are around in this area who are looking for you know, their one-stop shop for nutrition yes. and trying to change their lifestyle. So Kwame, thank you so much for thank being you with too. us today. Thank uh, you. Uh, I'm sure the information was great. I know folks have benefited from it heavily. And so for you all, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank Certainly you. appreciate it. Um, until next time, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. Peace. Peace.